Um, I think it's really interesting that the debates come on the back of the, the World Series finals, and I think it's a really healthy debate. Um, I think the fact that, um, you know, the, the, the level of squash, and, and as I've mentioned before, the, the spectacle of squash, I think people really enjoyed watching that week of squash, and, and I did as well. Um, and I think it's certainly something that we should be looking at. Um, I think... And I completely appreciate the, the traditionalist looking at, uh, at squash and I've certainly read and heard many, many views throughout the last sort of few weeks since the event, uh, which, are all, which is all great. Um, but I think it, it's definitely something that we should look at trialing whatever over, over the coming months, months, years. I think it, you know, there's this sports are a lot bigger than squash um, who are also looking at the format of their events, how their sports played. And I don't think we should forget that we're in, you know, the the business of sports presentation and and um, you know how people view our sport and how people sort of um, tuning in view our sport is is very important to us. And I think if there's anything that we can do to our sport to enhance that, get more people watching, then I, I think we'd be foolish not to consider that. Um, I I take all the comments, you know, and, and I think everyone's, you know, they've all got merit. Um, but I think for me, um, and this is my personal view, I think the the fact that um, the top players in the world can play a best of three match at that intensity and recover in time to be able to do that day in, day out, I think is a massive bonus for, for us. The, the format just lends itself to more exciting squash, um, and that's coming from someone who's, who's watched an awful amount. Um, and uh, you know, I, I definitely think it's something that we should we should think about. We should trial. Um, I've heard comments with regards to the World Series Finals been the top eight players in the world, which I think is is justified. Um, I'm interested to see how that would translate further down the rankings. You know, would a player twenty in the world playing a twenty one in the world would they have a, a less competitive game at a best of three format than a best of five? I'm not too sure. Um, and I think. The important thing to remember, I think, is that the actual game lengths um, during the best of three, I don't think would move and I think could potentially actually get a little bit longer, um, which I would see as a which I would see as a positive. Um, and I, I think a, another big positive is, is the importance of the first game. Um, I think during a best of five, we've all seen matches where you know, a player can get two or three points ahead and all of a sudden the first game hasn't got the same relevance um, or importance to the, to, the, to the match outcome. I don't think that's the case in, in, in the best of three. I think we saw that in, in, in action during, uh, during the tournament in Dubai. As soon as players went two or three points down in that first game, you could automatically see the mental change of, I really don't want to lose this because I'm already getting towards the, you know, the, the, the middle stages of the match. Um, which I think is a is a huge plus.